Today's topic is a generic factory pattern implementation in TypeScript. Factory is a widely used design pattern in software development. It's quite useful if you have multiple items connected somehow. There are two main components, the items, what factory makes, and the factory itself. Let me show you an example in TypeScript. Let's assume we have to make a couple of custom errors. I face this task in a daily basis, so it's going to be a good example. Just create some errors. I usually extend my errors from the built-in error class if I'm in the Node.js ecosystem. Class, order error, extends error. I don't need to have any special logic here, so move on to the next one. Class, user error, extends error. Add the constructor with message string and call the parents constructor with the custom message, a user error occurred and the message. It's a good pattern to merge your custom parameter values with the built-in message parameter comes from error class. The next one should be delete item error extends error. In this, make a constructor with more than one parameter like message, string, page, string, rows, array of strings. And just like in the previous case, call this super function with a custom text and all of the parameters we have. Message, page, and roles. Okay, that's enough to understand the pattern, I hope. These are the items what factory produces. Now, take a look at the factory. It could be a generic function, can create any kind of errors by its type. Function create error uses e extends error. It's important because I don't want to allow any types to be the parameter just types which is extending error type. Error, and here comes the black magic, constructor type e, and arcs array at the end of the parameter list. The return type should be e, and the body is an instance creation. Return new error with arguments. The constructor type is also a new type, so type constructor type with the generic parameter t is new arcs with the parameter any array and a t as a return type. This may look strange, but not as hard to understand as it looks. Long story short, the create error function can get a type which extends the error type and returns with an instance of that type. That's all. The constructor type means a constructor function with any parameters. It's a super useful generic structure in your TypeScript toolkit. Finally, see how you can use the factory. How can I get an order error for instance? const order error order error create error and use order error as a type parameter. As you can see, I only need the error type as a parameter. Super easy, super straightforward. What about user error? Const user error, user error, create error, and again, just use the user error type as a parameter. And a custom message like no rights. Bam, user error has additional parameter, but it's not a problem for our brand new factory function. What if I need a delete item error? It has many custom parameters, but it's still an error from our collection. Const delete item error, it's a delete item error typed, create error, delete item error, and here comes the parameters. Message is table, page is delete table, and roles are admin and editor. Just to be sure that it works as we expected, log the arrows to the console. Console log order error, console log user error, and console log delete item error. We are done as the output shows. 
By the way, when you write any TypeScript code, you should always check what it's compiled to. Since TypeScript cannot run alone, the compiler will definitely turn it into some kind of JavaScript before it starts. The end result depends on your TypeScript configuration. A cool feature of TypeScript Playground is to tell you what is the compiled JavaScript of your code snippet. Click the .js tab and see what you have. It's easy to notice that the complicated generic parts won't be included in the final JavaScript either. This is natural, since there are no generics in JavaScript, it's exclusively a TypeScript capability. If you have any additional questions about factories in JavaScript, just drop me a comment. Thank you for watching and see you soon.